Okay, so example 22 um, is showing us why learning all these facts um, about how we can use dot products are so important because as I was preparing to do this for you, I thought, oh, I'll try and draw this and see what it looks like to give you guys a good view. But here we go. That's my attempt at starting to do a 3D picture. And yeah, I give up. Uh, it's just not going to happen. We could do something in GeoGebra, but you know, anyhow. So let's just use the math as we know it. Okay, so um, we, we have these two vectors. Okay, so we've got... Um, so if we're looking at something that's going uh, AB, so we've got this A, B, C. Okay, so we're trying to find out what is this theta here? Okay, what is that? And so that means that we're gonna look at this vector here. Okay, so we'll look at this vector here. This vector here is B to A. And this vector here is B to C. So we, first of all, we need to figure out those two vectors and then we can figure out what is the uh, angle between them. Okay, so um, B to A, let's zoom up again. So B to A is, let's remember again, um, if I look at the second vector, um, O to A, and subtract O to B from that. Okay, and we know from what we're given above, they divide there, um, that's A minus B. And let's go up, have a look at what A is. So it's um, I, 3J minus K, and 2I and J. So that equals, um, so we got one in the I minus, two and minus two plus three minus one so we're gonna get so we can get minus one plus two and that doesn't stay so uh, minus i um, plus two j and that one did, didn't change it that was um, minus k minus k Okay, and similarly, using the same principle here, um, B to C will equal um, C minus B. And C minus B, so we've got one there. So we've got another, got, got another minus one. Um, and we've got minus two, minus one, that's minus three and minus two. So um, minus one I, and that was, once again, minus two, minus one, so minus three J. And the last bit was um, minus two, I'm sorry, minus two K. Right, so using the rule that we have already established, um, the uh, cos of the angle So cos of, uh, well, this angle here, A, B, C, is going to equal um, this vector here, our first one, dot the second vector and their magnitude, all right? So in other words, we're going to have B, A, dot B, C, and divided by the magnitude of BA times the magnitude of BC. So let's quickly figure out what the magnitudes are. Um, I'm just going to write them over here. So the magnitude of BA is equal to um, 1, well, I'll put it in the square root first. So 1 minus 1 squared plus 4 plus 1 is um, the square root of 6 and the magnitude of BC is equal to um, square root of 1 minus 1 squared minus 3 squared 1 plus 9 plus 
4 equals the square root of 14. Okay, and we also know that um, we could step these out as their um, uh, just the components times each other, right? So um, we will end up with minus one times minus one, which is just one, um, two times minus three is minus six, and two minus two times minus one, okay, these are the components times k, is positive two. Um, and we've got to remember we've got to put it on this thing. So divided by the square root of six times the square root of fourteen it, um, equals. We got minus three on that. We can say the square root of sixty of eighty-four. All right. So if cos is equal to that, therefore um, the angle ABC is equal to cos minus one of minus three on square root of 84. So I am going to use the CAS calculator. And so what have we got to use? Uh, trig cos minus one, escape, um, of, um, what was it again? Minus three divided by uh, control square root of 84. And, oh, and the other thing is don't forget to put your decimal place, that helps. Because then we just get straight to the answer. Um, bracket close, enter is 109.1, leave it 109.1. Okay, so, um, equals 109.1 degrees. Um, so yeah, that's it. Correct to one decimal place. That's all they want to know. So if we were to do those in GeoGebra, which I'm happy to do in class, um, yeah, we would see that the angle between them is 109 degrees. All right, fantastic.